hello guys uh good day and welcome to another brown new tutorial on the light pack collection so on this week uh video what we'll be making is this particular mini clutch bag i'll be showing you the process of making it everything about the bag and the basic measurements both the insertion of the chain the eyelets and the big lock so if you are new to the channel stay tuned to watch this so that you can learn from it if you are new consider subscribing when you subscribe turn on the post notification bell so that you get notified when we upload a new tutorial on the channel leave in the comment section down below what you think on this particular tutorial you are about to watch after you finish watching it and if you have any bag or anything you want us to make on the channel feel free to leave it and my uh, dm is always open for online training as well so without no further ado we will proceed to make this particular mini bag for you right now so this is how the bag look like this is the inside of the bag so we're making this without no waste of time so make sure to get your popcorn sit down get your soft drink and watch this as we proceed right now so here's the structure of the bag we'll be making this is how it will be looking like on the illustration and the design here just like you saw when i show you now but this is not the measurements we are using it's a little bit smaller than this previous one but i don't think we make this on the channel so this is the measurements we'll be using here as you can see the wideness here is eight meanwhile here is seven and a half and the from the back to the cover where the cover is going to stop the previous one we make is 11 and a half why this is just 11 and the height is five minus quarter it's not minus half you are, you are minus in quarter out of it so it's not up to five it's not up to five so that's just it and the side is still the same measurement as this so it's going to be three by six three by six so the wideness of the bottom is going to be three by seven and a half and as you can see this particular side is two centimeter two centimeter three centimeter the island here the center of it is going to be around three centimeter which is one and a half inch as well so that's the illustration for you and uh, as you can see you can use the same measurements here to put this big lock and if you don't have the big lock you can use any lock for this particular bag we are trying to make so I will proceed with the rest of the video and I'll show you what we how the cutting will look like. So, guys, as you can see, this is what we have cut so far. So, this is the back and the cover cut together, and this is the front. And as you can see, we so as you can see, you are going to cut your carry board first. Once you cut your carry board, you cut it in the measurement I showed you earlier, the previous measurement. So once you cut your carry board, you keep it aside, you cut this as well, and you cut material that will be a little bit with half inch extent more than the carry board, just like the way you see it here. So afterward, you are going, as you can see, this is a little, a little bit soft because we use foam here, not like the one we used to make that there's no foam as you can see. You are seeing the way it's bouncing. So there's foam there. So we put foam at this front one to make it so that the design can come out a little bit the same thing applicable to this front but this front as you can see we put the foam halfway we don't need to put the foam at the back so we just put it on the cover as well and as you can see this is where the foam stop and you can see it on the camera i don't know how you can see it clearly so this is just the process you need to do and as you can see the first thing you do is you gum the foam down to the particular place where you want it to be then you apply uh, your gum to the foam you apply your gum to your material as well and you gum it on it then afterward you apply gum to this edge round then you apply to the material around as well and you start coming down and once you come to the edge you cut it out so that it looks something like this so after so after that you cut your lining just like the way we do you cut it extra as well then you fold it inside you put you apply your gum and you fold it this is the top so right now i will be gumming the lining that will apply gum to it and i will gum it from the top you know the cover the, here is the place the foam is so where you fold on the lining is going to be this way so the same thing applicable to this ball make sure why i'm not showing the lining for this is i have to fix the big lock here before i cover it with lining meanwhile this i have to fix the lining force 
as well before i fix the lock because you know the lock will be covering the lining while here the lining will be covering the out of the lock where we screw down the nut so i will still show you the rest of the activity so after i come down this i will be cutting out so guys um, this is what we talked about earlier so this is the front cover which i showed you earlier as you can see i've cut out where the big lock will be and also i've measured where my eyelids will be and uh, punch it out so you are going to measure what you have from here to here which is five minus quarter so what you added will be in between the same thing here then here you measure one inch you put the first one you determine what you the measurement you want it to be at the center of the two eyelet then you punch it and fix your eyelet as you can see and i said i'm going to fix the lining so this is the lining for the back as well you see this is the big lock this is the other side for the big lock so it's on our front uh panel and as you can see i've screwed it down i've also applied gum to it i have my lining here as well this is my lining here so i'll be gumming it down but i want to show you this before i gum it down that's the reason why i've not gum it so that is that then we have our bottom as well as you can see this is our bottom this is the half inch we had it yesterday half inch here half inch here and the center you are going to cut a lining that will just measure the center if you want you can cut the lining to extend to the edge of the material but in this situation at the end of the day we are going to fold this material like this to sew so there's no need of there's no need in cutting that lining to extend to the edge of it and these are the two sides as you can see and what i'll be doing next now i'll be applying gum to the edge of the side i'll be gumming it down then there will be a liner at the center as well just like the one the way this one is so we'll be folding everything but once i fold it i will show you guys and if i don't have much time to show on this particular video you can watch other video on the channel previous one we've made and we did something like this but not the same design so stay tuned and watch this to the end and when you watch it feel free to leave in the comment section down below what you think if you are new to the channel consider subscribing when you subscribe turn on the post notification bell so that you get notified when we upload a new video on the channel share this with people you know it might be of help to them and let's continue with the rest of the video so guys here is the process so far as you can see before you start assembling it you have to stitch this cover around then focus 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 so you see the way it is being stitched right around you see the stitching is showing in the lining below the same thing to this part the top you are going to stitch this top just for uh stitching stick but not for stitching stick because even the gum you put after so many years it's possible those can be start raising so then the center the side you are to be attached to the bottom as you can see just like this so and the last one i explained that you are going to cover your line as you can see there's no rough work this side there's no rough work this side as well so when we stitch this front this top that is raising will be lapped down so and the first thing you are going to do is the way it is now you will first stitch this to this particular one so before it will be stitching to you before you will now put it on this but i will try my best when i put it on this i will show you so you guys can see how it's looking like before we stitch it to this place and uh, finally i will be putting on the front lock this is the bottom lock but we're we'll putting on the front lock here then fixing the chain so and yeah we are done with our bag or stay tuned to see the rest of the activities so here is the outcome guys after you fix this to the front this is it and this is the edge you make sure you are be careful at this edge so that it will not give a space for any stuff to fall out of the bag so that's what we are trying to achieve by the time so this is it and as you can see the rough edge cannot be seen again we are just seeing black all through that side so once we did this side as well that's how it's going to be so right now we'll be fixing this from this side on this particular front i will start from there then sew it down there so once i finish and i think i fix the zip i will come back to you guys and let you guys know 
how the bag is looking the final product so stay tuned to watch that so guys here is the um the lock so and here is the bag i finished it's as you can see it's looking beautiful so it's now left for me to fix the lock to it so normally this is tied to it with these two screws so you lose it when you lose it you fix this one down like this you place it down because we've already measured take the measurement and cut what we really need out out of this then you carry this and place it here you make sure you align everything the way you want it to be when you align it you press it down and you use your screwdriver which is this particular one i have here you screw it down when you screw it down you check it if you are satisfied with it before you put the other two and screw everything down so let me do that and i will show you the outcome of it so guys here is the outcome i've tied it down and here is the side as you can see the back the bottom and the other side and the front this is what the bag look like as it now hope you guys love this uh, particular tutorial if you do if you are new in the channel consider subscribing when you subscribe turn on the post notification bell so that you can that are more interesting and helpful educative on this channel leave in the comment section below what you think if you have any questions concerning this particular project you just want to make it right now give this video a giant thumbs up if you are if you have watched it up to this side so right now we're fixing the chain and i will show you probably i might not show you when i'm fixing the chain but i will try my best to pull the picture or uh, the outcome after i fix fixed the chain how the bag is looking thank you guys for watching and we'll see you on the other side so guys welcome back and see the beautiful bag this is the outcome of the particular bag after i have fixed the chain you see how good it's looking beautiful and the chain is a heavy duty chain very strong and very quality chain see how thick it is even on my palm so this is the bag for you this mini big lock chain bag i hope you guys love this tutorial and enjoying it if you have any question in the comment section if you have any question feel free to leave it in the comment section down below uh if you are new to the channel as you are watching so consider subscribing when you subscribe turn on the post notification bell since you are new on the channel leave in the comment section down below if you have any question concerning this particular tutorial we just make on the channel uh share this with people you know it might be of help to them you can bring them to the channel so that they can subscribe as well and the channel will keep growing so we bring to you good and educative tutorial on this particular channel uh give this video a giant thumbs up so as you can see this is the outcome of the bag i hope you guys enjoy let me open it so that you guys can see the inside of the bag actually the inside is just plain black there's no inner pocket inside how beautiful the bag is and if you lock it as well the lock goes straight this way so that's the bag for you